Hello, wow. My name is Onyenze Onyekachi Kinsley. I'm an accountant, I'm a teacher, I'm a speaker, a writer, and also a business strategist. Okay? So this video is aimed at um, giving solution to past wire questions on accounting. Okay? So we have various series on this. We have an accounting, we have an economics, we have um, in mathematics. Okay, so if you want to um, get on any of these subjects, you can call that number showing on your screen. Okay, and also this video is not merely for those writing YF only because it's based on accounting principles that can be applied in any accounting question. Okay, so if you're in year one or you have someone in year one or someone in higher institution study accounting, this video is also beneficial to them. Okay, because it is accounting and they also do that in higher institution. So it is just it is not just limited to only those offering what um, those writing work as per se. If you have those in SS1, SS1, and also those in higher institution, this video will be what beneficial to them. Okay, so you should share this video, um, give them the CD plate and also other series as regards mathematics, um, economics, and other calculation courses. You can make order for it by calling that number shown on your screen. And also we have um, a YouTube channel where we teach accounting, mathematics, statistics, and other calculation subjects. So you go to your um, YouTube, you can type in Google, um, check there, you see the King's Tutor. The King's Tutor shown on your screen. See the King's Tutor. Click there, you will see our videos. You can subscribe to our channel and follow us so that you can learn accounting and other calculation courses. Okay, so we want to look at um, the past YEC um, question 2020 on accounting. Now, in um, YEC question in accounting, it consists of um, two sections. The section A is um, the theoretical part, while the section B is the practical part, in which students um, will be asked on how to, uh, to solve a particular question. To practice, okay, to um, solve down not just to write, but to um, show their practical knowledge and accounting. Okay, so let's look at the quest, the first question there in section B. You can see that in your screen. Um, the question said the following transactions were extracted from the books of all these enterprises for the year ended 31st December 2018. One cash received from debtors. 100,000 Ghana cities, II cash pay to suppliers, 70,000 Ghana cities, III expenses paid during the year, we are rent, 2,500 Ghana cities, general expenses, 1,800, um, the next one, a cash of 5,200 Ghana cities was withdrawn by the proprietor of personal use, the next one, fixed asset value at 3,000 Ghana cities on 31st December 2017 were depreciated at 100 at 10% per annum. Additional information we have three debtors 31st December and 31st uh, December 2018 and 2017. We have um, 11,000, 13,200. We have for trade creditors 4,065. We have rent owing. We have cash. We have stock. Now the question is you are required to prepare a statement of affairs as at 1st January 2018. B, cash book, and C, trading profits and loss account for the year ended 1st December 2018. Okay, so we want to solve the solution to this question. Now, the first thing you should do when if you are solving such a thing like this, now, the first thing they ask you to do is statement of affairs as at 1st January 2018. Now, in accounting, date is very important. The date is very important. Now, they say statement of affairs, you ask yourself, what is statement of affairs? Okay, you want to get a uh, uh, general knowledge of this. Check in that my YouTube video I told you about the King's Tutor. Okay, this video is just for the solution. Now, statement of affairs is an abridged balance sheet. Abridged, a summarized balance sheet. It is prepared to either get an opening capital or a closing capital. Okay, so the items at the beginning, the balancing figure will give the opening capital. Why this at the end if you give the closing capital? 
But now, if you check there, it says statement of affair as at 1st January 2018. So it is meant to get opening capital. So we we'll use the item. You check, see the item and the additional information there that is written 31st December 2017. So we we'll use this item there to get the capital. Okay? Because the question there is where to get capital. Now let's sum. Now the first thing we we'll do, now we we'll write the name of the owner, which is all these enterprises. Enterprises. Okay? Now the next one is our statement of affairs. Statement of affairs as at the said is what first January twenty eighteen. Okay. Now I said earlier on you will use those item those item as at thirty first December twenty seventeen. Okay, those are the items you use to get this, and I told you it is a summarized balance sheet, the same way you prepare balance sheet, but the balancing figure will not be opening capital in which they're asking us to find, okay? So, you check there, now, at, if it is a balance sheet, at the right-hand side, we have what? Fixed assets, and we also have our current assets, okay? So, from this now, now, if you check in the question, reading down from the I, 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 you, if you check B, they said fixed asset value at 8,000 on 31st December 2017. It means this item is supposed to belong here, okay? Because we are using those items as at 31st December 2017, okay? So, our fixed asset from the question there, they said fixed asset is what? 8,000. Now we have Ghana series as the Naira value, as the um, currency value, okay, fixed asset 8,000. Now you come down there under additional information, you will see, they say trade debtors, okay, trade debtors, trade debtors is the current asset, so we'll write it here as trade debtors, how much is it? It is 11,000. The other one is trade creditor. Take the current liability. <coughs> so, we have current liability. So, we have trade creditors. Our uh, trade creditors, how much is it? It is what? 4,000. So, we're using those items at the 31st December 2017. The next one is rent owing. There's no value there, so it's not come here. The next one is cash cash is a current asset so it appears on that here so how much is it you will see there as twelve thousand one hundred while the next one is stock we have stock the current asset also fifteen thousand nine hundred okay so those are the item as of thirty first December two thousand seventeen so you add up all this I will also add up all this. So you see, the balancing figure is the capital. That is why the statement of affairs is prepared. Okay? So if you add up all this with my calculator, I will have 47,000. And for a balance sheet, they are supposed to have the same one. Balance, 47,000. So 47,000 minus 4,000 will give us what the capital should be. And that should be 43,000. Okay, so you see the statement of affairs is prepared because of what capital. So with that, we have answered the first question, the answer, which is what the statement of affairs. Okay, now the next one is the cash book. We already know what is cash book. I said it. The cash book is a book that is prepared to record cash transactions. Okay, so in all um, the questions given, we, we are giving cash transactions. So what do we do? So we have the cash book. Ask us to prepare a cash book. So, from this now, in the cash book, if you read the question there, the cash book it said cash received from debtors. That was the first item. But before that, let's check 
in that 31st December 2017, if we have cash that was brought forward, okay, remember this is for 1st January 2018, but for the cash book, it is supposed to be prepared for the end of the year, which is for 31st December, okay, so if you check there, we already have cash that was brought from the first, so it should be balance brought forward, okay, so that is balance brought forward of the cash as 12,100. That was brought from the previous year, from 31st December 2017. Okay? So the next item, let's look at those um, items they gave to us in the question from I. It's a cash received from three debtors. So if they receive cash from three debtors, it means they are receiving the money. So it means we have to debit the amount debtors as what? 100,000 Ghana cities. 100,000 Ghana cities. Okay? So the next one, it said cash paid to supplier, 72,000 Ghana cities. They say cash paid, it means the money is going out to so credit the giver, which is a given account. So we we'll write here supplier, how much is it? 72,000 Ghana cities. Okay? The next one, they said expenses paid during the year were rent 2,500 Ghana cities and general expenses as general expenses as 1,800 Ghana, Ghana cities. So right here, our rent as 2,500 because they are paying, so the money goes out. And the next one is general expenses. General expenses as what? 1,800 Ghana cities. The next one, they said a cash of 2,200 Ghana cities was withdrawn by the proprietor for personal use. So any amount that was withdrawn by the proprietor is called drawings. And drawings, you credit the cash book. So right there as what? Drawings. So the amount is what? 5,200. Okay? So I think that is the only cash item there. Yeah. Right there in the question, you will not see any other cash item. Okay? So, apart from 31st December 2018, we have cash there. At 31st December 2018, 3600. It means that is the balance we have in hand, the cash in hand, as at 31st December. So that balance carried down. So the amount is balance carried down 30,800. So if you add them together, the totality will give us 112,000. 100 and this also gives us 112,100. So it balances on itself. Okay, so that is the cash book, the access to what to prepare. Now, the last one they say trading profits and loss account for year ended 31st December 2018. So it means we are going to use this item to prepare what a trading profit or loss account. Okay, now. Preparing this now, we have to do an adjustment. We have to do an adjustment. Now, the first adjustment we have to do, or the first thing is depreciation. Now, depreciation. Now, depreciation, if you check there, they said fixed asset valued at 8,000 at 31st December 2017. You have to be depreciated at 10% per annum. Okay? So, depreciation of fixed assets. Its asset is 10%. That is 10 to 100 times 8,000. It gives us 800. That's the depreciation. Okay? Another one is um, we have rent there. So we have rent. We have to do the, the adjustment for rent. Okay? Now, if you check there, we have rent that was paid. In the cash book here, look at the amount, 25. So, right, the amount paid is 25. Okay? Now, to do the adjustment, now they said rent, owing, from the question. Owing means accrued. And in accounting, accrued for that current year is supposed to be added to the pre previous amount that was already paid to know the actual amount of what rent. 
So the rent owing from the question there, you see it, it is 500. So 25 plus owing. So we added the owing. So it will give us what? 3,000. That is the rent. Okay? Because all these items reported to the what? 3 report colors and is supposed to be also adjusted. Now, another item that needed, if you notice in the question on from up to Sudan, we were not giving sales. We were not giving purchases. Okay? We were not giving sales. We were not giving what? Purchases. So it means that we have to what? Get that. How do we get sales and purchases? We get that using what? Our control account. Check control account in my YouTube channel to see everything about. So we want to use um, the sales ledger and the purchase ledger control account to get our sales and purchases. We use the item that belongs to subdebtors and credit to get that. So in this now, what we'll do is to use to prepare our sales ledger, sales ledger control, control account. So sales ledger control account and the purchases ledger control account. So the sales ledger is used to get will be used to get the sale while the purchase ledger will be used to get the what the purchases. Okay? So in this now if you check there we have the sales that is debtors amount for 31st December. 2017. So anything that consigned debtors comes here. So all debtors have debit balance. So the balance that was brought for the three debtors, 11,000, will be treated as the balance brought forward as what? 11,000. Okay? Why the next one, it said debtors paid them 100,000 cash. So in this now, it means the corresponding entry comes here, it means cash. 100,000 was paid by the debtor. So it is going out. Why, if you check the, the three debtors in the question, the first December 2018, 13,200 for three debtors. That is the balance carried down. So it will be written here, balance carried down for the other as 13,200. 13,200. Okay? So, if we add up this, we'll have 113,000, And this is supposed to balance. So the balancing figure here is what we call the credit sale. That is why this is prepared, the credit sale. So we'll have 11, one, okay? The balancing figure, 13,200 minus 11,000, it will give us one, okay? So that is it that will be needed to be posted to the trading credit for the same thing in this ledger so when that concise credit okay now in this now if you check in a question you'll see three creditors okay now all creditors have credit balance okay so we'll post there the balance brought forward for that at the first December 2017 the balance brought forward was what four thousand so the balance brought forward is four thousand Okay, so we are going to check other things that relate to uh, the creditor. Now, in this now, if we check there, they say they paid cash to supplier. Check the question there. And um, if they paid to supplier, it means it's still related to creditor. Supplier is still creditor. So the money is being received by them. So they beat their account with 72000 Okay, and the other one, check in the um, 31st December 2018. You see two creditor. The balancing figure at the right there, the amount there is the balance carried down because it's the amount at the end. Okay? And the amount there is 6,500. So 6,500. When you add together, we are having 78,500. You check there is the other things related to creditors. There is none. If there is none, so we um, are supposed to balance at 78,500. Okay, so the balancing figure will not be the credit purchases. And the credit purchases, I deduct this from this, it will not give us 74,500. So that is how to get that. 
So with this now, we can now prepare our trading profit on account. Okay? We have our sales and what purchases. Without this, we cannot prepare trading profit on account. Okay? Because it is needed. We are not given sales and purchases. Okay? Now let's prepare trading profit. Now let's solve the trading profit on loss account. Okay? That's the last question they ask us to find. Now, if you check there, the first thing our trade profit account is our opening stock. If you check there, you will see in the question stock 31st December 2017 as 15.9 and 31st December 2018 as 17,000. The first one is the opening stock. So, we we'll have our opening stock as the amount there is 15,000. After opening stock is always our what? Add purchases. So, we will not take this value. That's our purchases. Without that, you cannot get purchases. So we have 74,500. So if you add this in my calculator, I'll have 90,400. Okay? Now, the next thing you should do, there is no return, there is no return outwards in this question. So we should just less our closing stock. So if you less closing stock, the closing stock is the one at the end. The closing stock now will be 17,000. So if you deduct this, we have 73,400. Okay? Now, at our credit side, we have our sales. I will take this sales. 102,200. Okay? So, to get, this is now our cost of goods sold. Now, to get our gross profit, our gross profit is the same. There is no return in it. So, if not, we will have deducted it. So our sales minus cost of goods sold, this is the cost of goods sold, will give us our gross profit. So 102,400 minus 73,400 will give us 28,800. Okay? So that is gross profit carried on. So if you add this, it will give you 102,200. And this will also give you 103,000. Okay, so from this now, now we will now check the next thing is our expenses. Now gross profit carried down will be drawn down here. So we have gross profit drawn down as 28,800. Now let's check the question to see if there are expenses. Now the first expenses we will see there is rent. And take note, look at the date. We are not dealing with 2017, but 2018. That was what they asked us to be fair. That's why I said date is very significant in accounting. So, we are taking rent. Remember, we did adjustment for rent. Look at the adjustment we did. That was 3,000. So, that is what we posted here as what? 3,000. The next one is our general expenses. Our general expenses. And the general expenses... If you check in the question up there, you said expenses that was paid. So our general expenses there is 1,800 naira. Okay? 1,800 naira. Because all the items, you see the following transactions was for 31st December. So the next item we are looking for um, depreciation. Depreciation. Okay. Depreciation of fixed assets and expenses. So we have depreciation. As eight hundred. So we'll check if there is any other. So if there is none, so we'll go ahead to get our net profit. So we'll now have our net profit here. So our gross, the net profit is gross profit minus all the expenses. So our total here is eight and eight hundred. Okay. So if we add this and the jump from to the eight and eight hundred, we'll have our net profit which is twenty three thousand to so you add that, you give us the 800. So that is a trading profit or loss account. So that is the first question um, for this YEC 2020 first question, question 5. Now, okay, just take a second question for the YEC 2020 first questions. Um, the second one said, <clears throat> The books of Omiye Sushak Club, show me your screen. 
show the following information for the year ended 31st December 2015. Okay, and it gave us the receipt and payment account. On the debit side, you will see the balance that was brought forward 3,000 subscriptions, 130 proceeds from concerts, interest on deposit income from dance. And on the credit side, you will see salaries, maintenance, stationary postage, dancing expenses, and general expenses. Okay. Now, afterwards, they said the balance as at 1st January 2015 were as follows. Now, they gave us accumulated fund, 266000 gave us bank deposit, clubhouse, furniture and fittings. Okay. So, the next one, they said additional information. Outstanding as at 31st December 2015. Stationary, they said it's 400. General expenses, 1-2. The next one, salaries of 10600 paid. During uh, including including 1,000 old since 2014, now they say they appreciate clubhouse by 10%. You are required to prepare income and expenditure accounts for the year ended 1st December 2015 and balance sheet as at that date. Okay, now this question is from accounts for non profit making organization. If you want to get an in depth understanding on this, check in my YouTube channel at the King's uh, Tutor in the YouTube channel. Check in the playlist, you will see account for non-profits, okay? So let's just solve this. Now, we'll start by writing the name of the owner, which is Omiye Social Club. Okay, Omiye Social Club. Now, the first thing I always advise them to do is to do the adjustment first, okay? Now, adjustment, check in the additional information. They said the first one was stationary. Okay, so we'll have an adjustment. The first one, the first one, that's one A, we have stationary. Okay, now they said it's outstanding 400. She will do check in the receipt and payment if they paid any stationary. Okay. So it was paid at the side, the amount is on 200. While the outstanding in the additional information, we have to add it. Outstanding accrued have been added. So say add outstanding 400. So 1, 2 plus 6 will give us 1006. Now this is the amount that will go to income and expenditure. Why this will go to balance sheets? Yes. Okay. Why the next one B in the question the general expense is also outstanding. So I have general expenses. So you check the amount paid. Check the receipt of payment in the pay general expenses. It said it's five thousand four hundred. Then you add outstanding. Outstanding the question is 1,200. So we have 6,600. So this one should go to income and expenditure, while it should go to the balance sheet. And there is. Now the next one is salaries. That is, that is salaries. Now they say the salary of 10,600 paid, including 1,000 old since 2014. Okay? So it means 1,000 is told. Now it's accrued salary. It's just 1,000. Why? I, I, I. The same should depreciate. That's depreciation. Depreciate the clubhouse by 10%. That's 10% on the cost. And the cost is there. They said the cost is one hundred and sixty thousand. So ten percent on this will give us sixteen thousand. Why also we depreciate furniture and fitting as F and F on fifteen percent, and the cost of the asset is twenty four thousand. So fifteen percent of twenty four thousand. Will give us three thousand six hundred. Okay, I think that is all for the 
adjustments. Okay? So the next thing is to move into the um, solution proper. Okay? So the first thing the actors will prepare is income and expenditure. So we say income and expenditure for the year what he was giving 31st December 2015 now the income and expenditure is the same thing as profit and loss for a um, profit venture okay so the same way so at the debit side here will be our expenditure why the credit side is what that income or income so what do we post here check the receipt and payment in the question given every item on the debit side of the receipt is what's the receipt that is their income apart from the balance going forward okay why at the credit side of the payments receipt and payments the payments are expenditure excluding payments made for fixed assets they are not expenditure okay so we'll write here all items in the payment excluding payment made for fixed assets why the income is what you receive in your receipt and payment account it will be credited the apart from the what the balance goes forward so we'll just take it like that from there so we have subscription yeah subscription 130,000 the next one we have proceeds from concert proceeds from concert we have 9,000 the next one we have interest on deposit interest on deposit we have 2,400 the next one we have income from dance Income from dance, we have 7200. Okay, that's all. So move to the expenditure side, you see that in the payment made. So the first thing we have there is salaries. Okay, so we should be careful to check if what expenditure you want to post, if there was adjustment. Okay, so salaries, they say they've already paid for 10,600. So that's expenditure. The next one is maintenance. Maintenance, maintenance has no um, adjustment, so we have 13,000. The next one is stationary. Stationary is 1,600. The next one, okay, stationary, 1,600. Look at it, there was adjustment of stock, so we don't post the amounts that is there since there was adjustment. Okay, so the next one is postage. We also check there was no adjustment for postage. So we'll post the one in the receipt and payment set. That is how much? 4,000. While the next one is dancing expenses. Is there any, uh, no adjustment for that yet? So we write dancing expenses. How much is it? Okay, sorry. This postage is. 600 we'll say the 600 why it does the expenses is 4000 okay and the next one is our general expenditure or expenses there was adjustment made okay look at it that's 60 so that's all say six thousand six hundred okay why our uh, depreciation so the first one is for clubhouse Clubhouse, 16,000. Why the other one is for furniture and fittings, 3,600. Okay, so I think that is the only uh, expenditure we make. So these are the items that comes under the income and expenditure. So we're going to add them up. The balance sheet figure can either be surplus or deficit. Now, it is surplus when our income is more than expenditure. It is uh, a deficit if our expenditure is more than what income. So, 
uh, balancing our total figure for the income column will give us 148,600. Okay, which is high, bigger than what we have here. So we have that surplus because the income is more than the expenditure when we calculate this. So our surplus will have been a balancing figure. Okay, so the balancing figure from there is 92,600. So what you add, it gives you 148,600. So that's our income and expenditure. Okay, quickly we move to the balance sheet. That's the second question. So write balance sheet as at 31st December 2015. Balance sheet. Okay, and the balance sheet is the same way. At the right hand side, we have our fixed <coughs> assets. We have our cost, depreciation, net book value. So the fixed asset we have in the question is just clubhouse, clubhouse, and furniture and fittings. And the clubhouse, the cost for the question was given as 160000 why the furniture are fitting is from 4,000. So there was a precision for clubhouse. So when we we're going to lessen 16,000. Why for furniture are fitting is 3,600. So cost minus a precision will give you net book value. So the value for our net book value will be 144,000. Why for functional fitting cost by the position giving us a net book value which is 20,400? Okay, so that is the only fixed cost or fixed asset. So add this to this position will give us 184,000. So we have closed this. So 16,000 plus 36 will give us 19,600. So why is the total minus this will give us what we have in 164,400 which is also what you add is you have this so this is what we have So the other items that might come here is the current assets Asset. <clears throat> Now the items in the current asset now if you check in the receipts and payment the balance carried down there okay you check in the request of the receipt and payment, the balance carried down is cash in hand because that's the cash remaining. Okay, and the amount there is so that's our cash in hand, and the cash is the current asset. So the amount there is 116,800. Okay, also in the question, if you check there, you see bank deposit, so it means the amount you have in your bank account. So the amount here is 80,000. So when you add this together, you have 196,800. Okay? So if you add 196,800 to this, all we have here is 361,200. That's what is at our credit side. So the next one is to what's at the left hand side? Now, if it's for profit venture, what will be here is the capital. But in the non profit, is what we call accumulated fund. And it was given in the question. So the amount here is 266,000. Okay? And the next one, if it was for profit, we we'll say add net profit. But for this one, it is what? Add surplus. What is 92,600? And add it together, you have 358,600. Now there is no drawings, so we'll go to current liabilities. Now current liabilities, now if you check in the question, the current liabilities we have are those items under additional information. One of them is stationary. Remember, the national information is said outstanding. It means it's accrued expenses. Okay, so 
is this 400. Remember, I said it's coming to balance sheet, so it will be under the current liability. So we we'll add stationary outstanding, which is what 400. The next one is the general expense is also outstanding. So I have general expenses outstanding. It is 1,200. Why the next one is accrued salary? In the question, they said, look at it, they said the salary of 10,000 so they paid include 1,000 old. So it is salary old. 1000. So if we add it together, we we'll have 2600. I think that's the current ability there. So if we add 2600 to this, we will have the same value as 361,200. So that's the balance sheet. It balanced automatically. Okay? So that's the other question. Now let's look at the um, third question in this, the third question. Now we do that um, while writing, not on the board, but writing um, probably in our notes uh, book to see how it's being done in that direction. Okay, let's um, solve the next question, question seven. It says the following balances were extracted from the books of Abubakul local government for the year ended 31st December. 2019. We have construction of an office block, renovation of classroom blocks, cut fine, building permits, rehabilitation of street lights, woodies and solar medical services, provision of pipe and water, interest on investment, lorry parks, all that to so maintenance, maintenance of um, motor vehicle. Now they say you are required to prepare for the end at the first December. Statement of recurrence, statement of capital, and statement of revenue. Now, this question relates to the public sector accounting. So, if you want to um, have an in depth knowledge on that, check my YouTube um, channel at the King's Tutor. Okay, so let's solve this now. Okay, now solving this question, we'll have something like this. Okay. For the three local, for the um, three accounts, their recurrent capital and revenue. Now, what is recurrent expenditure? These are expenditure that will cause frequently. Okay, what you do frequently, the expenditure they incurred that are frequent. Why capital expenditure are uh, expenditure um, that are most time once in a while. That are mostly once in a while. Why the revenue are what they receive. Okay. So we're going to post them as they occur. Now the first one from the question here, it said construction of an office block. Now construction of an office block is done once in a while. So it is a capital expenditure. So it will be recorded here. Have construction of an office block. Three million eight hundred and fifty thousand. Okay, the next one is a renovation of classroom block. Renovation is um, renovation is done frequently after building of. So we have renovation of classroom blocks. So I have what's the amount? One million sixty-five thousand. Okay. The next one say court fines. Court fines is a revenue to them. Okay. So we have here court fines. How much is it? Ninety thousand. The next one say building permit. They are permitted building. It's also a revenue. So we have building permits. How much is it? Six hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. The next one said rehabilitation of street lights. So rehabilitation of street light means it can be done as also known as maintenance. 
or to put it to work so it can be done frequently after they've mounted the street light. What is the amount? 470 500 The next one said wages and salary. So they pay their workers probably monthly. So it's a recurrent expenditure. So I have wages and salaries. How much is it? Seven million. It's hundred and eighty thousand four fifty. The next one is medical services. They go for medical checkup and it is done frequently. So it's a recurrence. So we have medical services. How much is it? One million. Three thirty four six fifty. Okay, the next one provision of pipe bone water. Provision of pipe bone water can be done once in a while. Okay, it's not something that is done frequently. So two million five hundred thousand. So it's a capital expenditure. So we have provision of pipe bone water two million five hundred thousand okay the next one the next one is interest on investment so they have an investment so the interest they get from that is an income for the local government so it is a revenue okay which will come under the statement of revenue as interest on investment how much is it just on investment is 250,000 okay that is it here 250,000 the next one is lorry park levies lorry park levies Okay. So the lorry park levies is three hundred eighty thousand. So it's a revenue to them also. So we have lorry park lorry park levies. How much is it? Three hundred and eighty thousand. The next one is this market tools. It's also a revenue to them. So we have market so have market tools. Much is it? I get those is five, five sixty thousand. Okay, so uh, five sixty thousand. And the next one is property rates. Property rates is, is also an income generator. So we have property. Rates which is one million two hundred thousand. Next one is the general administration, six thirty seven. And general administration is a recurrence of my next nature. So it should be a yeah, general administration. Okay, so it is six hundred and thirty thousand seven hundred. The next one is motor vehicle procured. When you procure motor to vehicle, it is one cent in a while. So it's capital expenditure. So I have motor vehicle procured. How much is it? Six million six hundred and fifty three 
Okay. So the next one, extension of office building, nine feet tall. Extension of this building is also don't want it in a Y. So uh, extension of all of his building, which is nine fifty thousand. Okay, the next one. Is grants from donor agencies, which is two million. The grant is a revenue to them. They receive grant. Okay, okay. so we have grants from donor agencies. Two million. Okay, the next one is royalties. Royalties is four million five hundred thousand. It's also a revenue to them. So we have royalties four million five hundred thousand. Next one is subvention from central slash federal government twenty million. So it means they receive money from the federal government. It's a revenue. So subvention. So uh, twenty million. Okay. Next one is donation charity two fifty thousand. A donation might be done regular donations to charity home two fifty thousand. Okay, so the next one entertainment permit seventy thousand. It's a revenue to them. Because they permitted entertainment, so they are receiving revenue. So we have entertainment permit. How much is it? Two hundred thousand. So the entertainment permit is seventy thousand, not two hundred thousand. Okay, so we have seventy thousand. Next one is staff training. It's an expenditure they might do regular. So staff training. So we have staff training. That is staff training. Is how much? Five fifty thousand. The next one is entertainment expenses, two hundred thousand. Okay, so it's a regular. So we have entertainment. Expenses, two hundred. The next one, marriage registration fees, eighty thousand. So they received money. Okay, so it should be marriage registration. Fees. How much is it? Is eighty thousand. The next one. 
its allowance to community leaders. 370,800. So, uh, allowance to community leaders. 370,800. So, the next one. Their certificate fees is an income to them. So we have so we have that certificate fees. How much is it? It's one. Sixty thousand. Why the last one is maintenance of motor vehicle six fifty thousand. Maintenance can be done regularly, so it is a recurrent. So maintenance of motor vehicle, which is six fifty thousand. Okay. That's all. So what do we do? We add it up. So if we add this, we're going to also add this and also add the final one. So if you add this with my calculator, it's giving me thirteen million four hundred and two thousand hundred dollar because I said the why the second one is also giving me that capital expenditure thirteen million nine fifty three thousand. Why our revenue as statement of revenue is giving me twenty nine million nine hundred and forty thousand. So that is it. So look at it. That's a question. I was asked regarding to this. This is the current recurrent expenditure. It's the capital expenditure, and this is the revenue. Welcome to uh, this other question. Okay, let's get into it. But before we do that, don't forget that we have uh, videos also in different series. Economics, uh, mathematics, and other calculation courses that are be beneficial to you. Or any topic that you're finding difficult that you want us to treat, just call that number shown on your screen. Okay? And also, don't forget we have a YouTube channel. Type the King's Tutor in your YouTube. You will see other videos there you can um, um, check. And show you subscribe so you see new video. It is free. Just click on the subscribe button. You get your videos on accounting and other calculation courses, okay? And also, we are, uh, I told you before now that I'm a speaker, I am an academic coach, educational consultant, okay? So, whenever you're having difficulties in uh, education and whatever subjects, you can reach out to us. And also, any event you want us to speak or talk um, on any topic, you can also relate to us. Okay, now let's continue. Um, the other question that uh, Yalalawa Stores Limited has two departments. The following balances were collected from each book as at 31st December 2017. Purchases Department A, Department B, the figure is there rent and rates, commission, insurance, sales, Department A and Department B. This can receive advertising, sales, and wages, depreciation, administration, and general expenses. Open stock, um, department A, department B, closing stock. And also, we have additional information. Expenses are to be apportioned to the department as follows. Look at the um, additional information commission on the basis of sales. Sales are really strict, is to two for department A and B. Um, Dogman, this can receive to 10% of purchases and other expenses are to be apportioned equally. To have an in depth understanding on this is our uh, departmental account. Check that in my YouTube video also to see that. And also, lest I forget, um, I have a book called 
hidden principles and secrets in accounting. It's a wonderful book that helps you in the adjustment to know some secret, different secrets in accounting that is not meant uh, open in different accounting book. You will see that there. Okay, just call or send us an email at onyezolekachikinsi uh, at gmail.com or you check um, in our Facebook or call us at that number showing me your screen. Okay, if you need a book, very uh, good book that will help you in adjustment on how to treat all these other items. Okay, let's move. Um, so they said we should just prepare the departmental trading profit and loss account for the year ended. Departmental trading profit and loss account. Okay, so the departmental trading profit and loss account is the same thing as the trading profit and loss account. Just that this one has a, a, a department code. It has different code for different department. Okay, so um, to do that, we have to first of all apportion. The same expenses are to be apportioned. So let's treat that first. The apportionment of the expenses. So the first one, the additional. So the name of the owner, ya la wa stores. Okay, ya la wa stores. So, so the first one is for commission. Commission. They said we should apportion it on the basis of what? Sales. On the basis of sales. So, what does that mean? It means that the expenses they made on commission is as regards their what? The amount of sales they have. So, what do we do? We have to check there in the first one if sales was given for departments A and B, get the total sales and use it to apportion the expenses on commission. Okay, so in that now, we we'll have our sales for department A. We check department A, our sales is 1,500,000. 1, 1,500,000 Let's add it to department B sales, 1,250,000. So if we add them together, you have two million seven fifty thousand. That's the total amount. Okay. So our commission based on sales for department A. For department A. Our commission, the amount for expenses is fifty-five thousand. Okay. So since they said on the basis of sales. Okay. So our commission for department A. For sales department, the amount is one million five hundred thousand. So it will now be one million five hundred thousand divided by the total, which is two million seven hundred fifty thousand, times the amount of commission, which is fifty five thousand over one. Okay, so that's for department A. And the amount once you do it will give us thirty thousand. The next one for department B. And the reason we are doing this is because commission was just given plainly. It wasn't shared to the two departments. So they want to apportion the, that commission expenses as regards to what the sales made. Okay? So this sales was for department A, department B. So we add the two to get the total figure. So this is the amount for the, um, the total commission. So for department A, 1,500,000 divided by total times the commission amount. So this is what is a portion, what is um, to be paid or what is to be removed from Department A. So Department B also will have the 1,250,000 over the total times 55,000, which is the commercial amount. So we we'll have here 25,000. So that's what. Commission department A, look at the amount, department B. So when you get to this point, if you add these two, you should have the total amount of that expenditure. This is just to what divide it to the different departments. So that's for commission. The next one is for salaries. Salaries. Salaries and wages. Salaries and wages. The said is to Three is to two for department A and what B. Three is to two 
3 is to 2 means 4 department A is 3, department B is what? 2. So we have to add it. 3 plus 2 will give us what? 5. So that's the total. So what do we do? Check in the expenses. Check the amount for size and wages is 250,000. So we'll just say for department A, it is 3 over the total, which is what? 5 times 250,000, which is the amount for the salary. So if you do that, you have 150,000 for department B. Department B, we have 2 over 5 times 250,000. We have 100,000. 100,000. Okay? So that is for department B. The next one, I, I, I. We have discount receipt. Discount receipt, they said it should be 10% of what? Purchases. 10% of purchases. It means that the purchases figure, get 10% of it, then it should be a portion as regards of discount receipt. Okay, so what should we do here? We are going to first of all get 10% of the purchases figure. So, because I said it was 10% from the question. Okay, so when I say this is the purchases figure, purchases figure, now I get 10%, and the purchases amount is 720,000 for department A. So I have 72,000 here. This is for department A. And also, we have 10% of 520,000 for department B, which will give us 52,000. This is for what? Department B. So, this is the amount we we'll use now to what? A portion of the discount receipt. So, when I say the discount receipt for department A, if you check the uh, question, the discount received, the amount there is 124,000. So if we add this to 72 plus 52,000, it will give us 124,000. Okay? So for the department A now, 10% of this, it will not be 72,000 divided by the total, 124,000. Times the amount of this card received, which is T124,000 over 1. So in this case, so this. So what we have is just what? 72,000 for department A. The same way for department B. Department B is 52,000. 52,000 over 124,000 times. 124,000, which is the amount of this cash received over 1. So this cash is this, we have 52,000. So this is all your post for the department A and B for this cash received. Okay? So the next one is, they said other expenses are to be apportioned equal. So we'll start from the question there. What are the other expenses apart from the one that have special? Apportionment that was given, like commission, size, and wages that have special apportionment. So, for the question there, the first expense is, is rent and rates. They said it should be apportioned equally. So, it means half rent and rates. So, it means for department A, it is half. That is 1 over 2 times what is the amount of rent and rates paid? It is 50,000. So half of fifty thousand is twenty five hundred thousand for department B. The same way half of fifty thousand is still what twenty five thousand. So we we'll move to the other one. Insurance commission and the job. So we'll move to insurance because they say other expenses. So insurance. The same way for department A, they said all these other ones are equal. It's half 
how much of the insurance was paid? Five thousand. So half of five thousand is two five. So the same thing as in B, half of five thousand is two five. Okay. So the next one is the net expenses there is advertising. So we are advertising for department A. For department A, we have half. The amount paid is twenty thousand. So half of twenty thousand is what? Ten thousand. For department B, that same half of twenty thousand is what? Ten thousand. So. So if we check the other expenses, the other expenses there is depreciation. So we we'll have depreciation <coughs> for department A, because it equal half times the depreciation amount there is thirty five thousand. Half of thirty five thousand will give us. 17,500 for department B, half of the 5,000 will give us same 17,500. Okay, so the next one are mean and general expenses. So, uh, So our purchases 
In the question there, it is seven twenty thousand and apartment B is what? Five twenty thousand. Okay, so if you add them together, this plus this will give us eight seventy thousand and this will give us six twenty thousand. So we check if there's carry over, but there is none. Check if there's return artwork. There is none. So let's let's our closing stock. Let's close the stock. In the question there. Closing stock have two departments also, department A and B. Department A is only at some five thousand, while department B is one forty two thousand. Okay, so let's start twenty five. This is 4,000. So our current side is always our share. So we have a 1.5 plus 1 million dollars. Why? If I make this 1 million, it's only at 50,000. So this is our cost of goods sold. So our sales minus cost of goods sold give us our gross profit. So we have here gross profit. Carry down. So 1.5 minus 605,000 will give us 805,000. Why 1.2? 1,250,000 minus 478,000 will give us 772,000. So if you add this to, you're supposed to have 1,500,000. And this is also giving you 1,250,000. So one million five hundred thousand, one million two fifty thousand. So gross profit carried out will be brought down here. So I have gross profit brought down. So this is eight hundred and five thousand and this is seven seven two thousand. Okay, so the other things now is to check if we have expenses or income so now we we'll check now what i tell students mostly whenever you will start something they start afresh from a question start scrolling down one after the other to see so that you don't skip any other one so the first thing there is purchases we have treated that another one is rent and rates so we we'll have rent and rate as expenses so i we'll have rent and rate now we did adjustment for this remember Rent and rate, department A, look at it, 25,000 for department A, department B, 25,000. So I have 25,000 and 25,000. The next one is commission. So I have commission. So I just have to check there for commission department A, it is 25,000. Okay, so the next one is insurance insurance so insurance we did adjustment also 2525 so we'll come here like 25 and 25 the next one is advertising advertising oh. we did adjustment also but that's a and b 10 10 thousand so right 10 thousand here yeah. 10,000 here. So the next one is salaries and wages. Salaries and wages. Salaries and wages. We did adjustment also. That was the one we claimed. So department A is 150,000. Why department B is 100? Um, and the next one is depreciation. Okay, depreciation. Depreciation. Depreciation is seventeen five and seventeen five. Got it there. Why the next one? Admin and general expenses. Admin and General expenses 25,000. 25, so I have 25,000 and 25,000. 
So now if you check in if you check in question there, you will see this card receive you did adjustment also. This card receives an income. So it comes here. Discount receive. So so say discount received for department A is seventy-two thousand. Why department B is fifty-two thousand? Okay. So when you add this, it will give us eight seventy-seven thousand. For department B, it will give us eight twenty-four thousand. So the credit, this side is bigger than this. So we are having a net profit. Okay. So we are having a net profit. So this the department A column subtracts this um, expenditure. The balance we are having will be 617,000. So that when we add it will give us 877,000. And also, the Batman B column subtract the expenditure. But as we are having is 619,000. So that when we add, we have 824,000. Okay? So that is our departmental trading profit or loss account. So check in the next um, video. Let's check the next question. Stay tuned. Welcome to um, the last question of this wire 2020. Uh, oh, no, next question was instructed from the books of Okiri Manufacturing Company for the year ended in 1st December 2016. Okay, and they gave us stock, uh, raw materials, finished goods, uh, work in progress, the amounts there, which is carrying what of raw materials, purchase of raw materials, royalties, plant and machinery, uh, factory expenses, factory power, rent, insurance, this kind of lot carried out what. Sales, salesman, salaries, office, stationery. Now, additional information they say closing stock as at 31st 12th, 2016, raw materials, finished goods, work in progress, and they say rent paid in advance, insurance, office, stationery, and depreciation. You are required to prepare manufacturing trading portfolios account for the end of the house. This question is on manufacturing account. Okay, now if you want to have an in depth knowledge on manufacturing account, check in my YouTube. Uh, um, channel the King's Tutor. Okay, you have an in depth from the scratch. Okay, now let's solve this. Let's go into this proper. Now, from the question there, they say we should prepare only manufacturing trading profit of this account. Okay, so the first thing I always advise students you will do the adjustment. So, the name of the owner is Okiri Manufacturing. Company okay, so adjustment. So the first one, the first adjustment will have the closing store for raw material, which is not with RM for raw materials, it is 30,420. Okay, for finished goods. It is 7,200 and for work in progress, it is 1,680. Okay, the other one is rent. You say rent paid in advance. Okay, now let's do this. Now, also to have an in depth knowledge on adjustment, I have um, a topic on that in my YouTube channel. Okay, check that. Okay, so we have rent, rent paid in advance. Now we have the one in a question there. The amount that was paid is 2400. We have the question there. Now less the one in advance. That's less the one they paid in advance. Okay, the one they paid in advance is 550. So 240. Because once it is prepaid with less, so 24 minus 150, 550, we have 8,000, uh, 1,850. Okay, so move to the next one, which is insurance outstanding. 
So we have insurance. We have amounts paid. We have the one that was paid for three thousand before the additional information. Now we say it's outstanding, it means accrued. So we are going to add accrued is added. Why prepaid is less? So we add, add outstanding. Outstanding of six hundred. So what do we have? Three thousand six hundred. Okay. The next one is office stationary accrued. So I fee. We say office stationary. Now I said amount paid for the office stationery request on there is four thousand three hundred. Now they said it is accrued, so we are adding add accrued accrued is seven hundred. So forty plus seven hundred is five thousand. Okay. Now the last one for your additional information, they said the appreciation. Depreciation on plant and machinery. Depreciation on plant and machinery. They said it's ten percent on cost. Now, if you check the question there, we have plant and machinery. Now, the first one that was uh, that have a value there is the one in uh, the cost that have uh, a bracket in it. This is what it is. Its actual cost. Why the one at the right hand side is it not valid? But they said it should be on cost. So our ten percent will not be ten over hundred times fifty thousand is what is this fifty thousand US dollars? So ten percent of fifty thousand would give us five thousand. So this five thousand is the depreciation. Okay. So that is the adjustment. Now let's move to the um, manufacturing account proper. Okay, so write manufacturing accounts. Okay, manufacturing trading profit. Okay, or loss account. Is 61450. This is in US dollars. Okay. So the next thing is add purchases. The purchases is given the question there. So it's an add purchases of raw materials. Okay. So the purchases there is 42,000. 360. So 6150 plus that will give us 103,810. Yeah. Okay. So the next one is add carriage inward. Carriage inward of raw materials. Okay. So from the question that our current inward is six fifty. So what we add up would have one o four four sixty. Okay. So this is cost of raw materials available. So less. Let's um, close the stock. Close the stock. Raw material, look at it here. 30,420. 30,420. So we have 74,040. And this is our cost of raw material consumed. Okay. Now, for manufacturing account, after all this, we add all direct 
cost. Okay. Now one of the direct costs we have there is wages. Okay. So wages, wages there is fourteen thousand one fifty. Fourteen thousand one fifty. Another one is royalties. Royalties is one thousand forty. Okay. So we we'll check if there's another direct cost. If there is none, we add up this plus this plus this. What zero? This is four. This is 13, that is 3, this is 2, this is 9, this is 8, that is 89,230. So this amount is what we call our prime cost. Prime cost, summation of all direct cost. Okay, prime cost. That is this amount. So the next one is our factory overhead. Okay, so the factory overhead. Now, our factory overhead are uh, those indirect ones, expenses. Okay, so the factory overhead comprises of our factory expenses. So, our factory expenses. Okay, factory expenses has 11,430. Another one, factory power. These are indirect expenses. Factory power at 6050 Naira. $50. Okay. So another one, another indirect expenses under the factory overhead is our depreciation. Remember, in uh, this depreciation of plant and machineries, an indirect uh, expense that comes under factory overhead. Okay. So the depreciation of plant and machinery. So we have depreciation, depreciation of plant and machinery. Which is how much? Five thousand. Okay. So if we add up, I think there is no other um, indirect expenses. So we we'll add up, we we'll have one one point seven ten. Okay. So, the other thing we should add, we should evaluate our work in progress. Work in progress refers to partly finished goods. Okay, so uh, opening stock of work in progress. So, we check the uh, opening stock of work in progress is 3140. So, uh, 3140. So if we add up that, we have 114,850. So another one is less closing stock of work in progress. The closing stock of work in progress is this, and it's 1,680. So if you Let's start from that. We we'll have hundred and thirteen thousand one seventy. So this is what we now call cost of production. This is what is now called what? Cost of what? Production. So the cost of production amount is posted here. Also, cost of production. As $113,170. So that will have our final as $113,170. Okay, so this is the cost of production, that's the manufacturing. Now let's move to the trading point. Okay, so I would want to um, use this um, part. So check our adjustments, this is the rent. This insurance, this office stationery. You can write this down. I won't want to clean here so that I can continue from our 
actually. It is mainly opening stock of finished goods, closing stock, ads, cost of production, and all that. Okay, stay tuned. Welcome. So let's um, prepare the um, trading uh, profits or loss part. So the next thing we do is our opening. Remember, had it been the six days here, we'll continue down. Okay, so if you have space, you don't need to cut it. So we are opening stock of finished goods. This is finished goods. In our question there, our open stock of finished goods is 84650 84650 in dollars. Okay. So remember our trading profit on us. Instead of now adding purchases, it is cost of production because this was produced by us. So I have add cost of production. So our cost of production is 113,170. Okay, so if you add up, we have 197, 197, 820. Okay, so we less our closing stock of finished goods. So closing stock of finished goods, our closing stock of finished goods is. 7200 in our first one there. Okay, so if you less that, we have 190, 620. Okay, so on the third side, we can have our sales. Our sales, given the question, there is 202,400 dollars. Okay, so the sales minus the cost of goods um, sold will give us our gross profit gross profit carried down so this minus this will give us gross profit which is giving us 101780 so that if you add this you have 292400 so this will also give you 292400 so the gross profit is brought down here to have gross profit brought down as 101780. Okay, so our, all our expenses will be in this part. So, from our question, the first expenses we have here is rent. Remember, we did adjustment for all this rent. Okay, that was what was there before I came there actually to write it down. So, our rent, the adjustment, we did the 1850, not the one. I was giving the question, we adjusted it, okay? So, because it said rent was paid in advance. So, insurance, so the rent is at the note, rent is at the note 2 of our adjustment, okay? Why insurance is at the note 3 of our adjustment, and it is what 3600. Okay, another one is discount allowed. Discount allowed was not adjusted, so we'll just write what is in the quest in the list in the, the question. So, discount allowed is 1430. Another one is carriage outward, carriage outward, which is 610. Another one is salesman salaries. Salesman salaries. Salesman salaries. This is forty one thousand two hundred. Another one is office stationery. The office stationery was adjusted. That is our notes. That is our note four. Office stationery was adjusted. So we have 5,000 is the adjusted amount. Okay? So I think that is still all the expenses. So there is no other income. So our total year should be 101780. Okay? So when you add up this, it is lesser than our income. So we we'll have what? The net profit. The net profit. So all this is supposed to have the same balance. So the net profits 
will be our income subtract our expenses. So what will be here is $48,090. So that is our manufacturing trading profit and loss account. Okay. So that is YEC 2020 section uh, A question, this section A or B. Okay. It is um, the section B question in which they are giving um, uh, five questions, I think, to answer three. Okay. So we we'll prepared all that YEC 2020. Okay. Thank you for purchasing this. Thank you for staying up to this period. Thank you for listening and watching. I hope I wish you the best of luck in every um, exam you're preparing for in accounting. Okay. We have um, also other video for other series in all calculation, either in economics or uh, mathematics. Okay. Just call the number showing on your screen and also um, visit our YouTube channel to see other videos. But because um, you purchased this, I want to give you a bonus. I'll, um, other videos relating to accounting that I have done before that is not necessary for this. I'll upload it there. You'll see that after this, um, um, after now, you will see the videos. Okay? So just watch, learn, and wish you success in your exams and in all endeavors. Thank you very much. You can recommend, remember I said uh, we also are uh, available for public speaking. I'm also an academic coach, educational consultant, a home tutor, okay? So if you want anything related to education, don't fail to alert us, okay? See you, enjoy the rest of the video. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel today. This is a King's Tutor, okay? If this is the first time I'm doing this, kindly like, comment, share this video, okay? So today we want to see a question on the bank reconciliation statement. Now we have seen the introduction of bank reconciliation statement. We've seen the method of preparing bank reconciliation statement. Now see, let's see a, a, a question relating to that. Now the question said on 31st March 2015, this card will show the debit balance of 2000. His bank statement showed the balance of 2270. On comparison, the following were found: A. Checks drawn amounting to 15 had not been presented for payment. The standing order of 600 to a club was not taken into consideration. Bank charges of 50 were entered in the bank statement only. A dividend of 300 naira was paid directly into the bank and not recorded in the cash book. Checks for 1,000 naira were entered into the cash book and paid to the bank were not been cleared and thus not credited. F. A customer had only paid 120 directly into the bank without the defined effect. Required. Prepare the bank reconciliation statement using A. Only the bank reconciliation, B, adjusted cash book method. So we have to use the two methods. Now, if you have not seen the method or the introduction, check in the link in my YouTube ch channel at The King's Tutor. Okay, check in the description below. You will see the link for both of them. Now, let's start preparing this. Now, the first one is to prepare only the bank reconciliation statement. That's the first method. Okay, now in doing that, we have to decide which are we starting from. Are we starting with balance as per cash book or um, balance as per bank statement? Okay, so let's start with balance as per cash book. They are, they've already given us the cash book balance to be what? 2000. Okay, so we'll start from here. I'll say balance as per cash book. Now the amount is 2000. Now Move to add. Now the first item now is a check drawn amounting to one five had not been presented for payment. It means they what they pay this money, but it has not been presented as at when they received the money bank statement. So we have to add unpresented check. So whenever you hear a check has not been presented, it means unpresented check. So we have unpresented check. So what is how much? 1,500. Okay. The next one, it said the standing order of 600 to a club was not taken into consideration. Now, standing order is to be less, so let's leave a space. Okay. It means they gave the bank order to pay some bills. Okay. So it means they've not deducted it from the water cash book. 
We gave all those explanations in our previous video. Check that. So we have less standing order. In our format, standing order is supposed to be reduced. So we have 600. The reason I leave the space so that I should in case there are other things I'm supposed to add. Okay. So the next one, it's a bank charges of 50. We are entering the bank statement only. The bank made the collected our charges, so it has not been deducted from the card book. We are also lessing bank charges. So we have what here? Bank charges of what? 50. The next one, it says a dividend of 300 naira was paid directly into the bank and not recorded with the card book. A dividend of 300, it means they receive money. Okay, it has entered into the bank, but it is not yet in the cash book. So we have to what? Add it in the cash book. So that is why dividend is added. So we have dividend. How much is it? 300. Okay, the next one it said checks for 1000 were entered into the cash book and paid to the bank, but had not been cleared and thus not what? Credited. So a checks for 1000 had been entered in the cash book. That means they've received the money in the cash book, they paid into the bank, the bank had not credited them. So it means that's what an uncredited check. So uncredited check is to also be reduced. Uncredited check. So uncredited check here is 1000. Now the last one said a customer Olaji paid 120 directly into the bank without notifying the Fed. When a customer pays the money without telling the firm, it means they want a credit transfer. And we we'll also add what? Credit transfer. Credit transfer. How much is it? 120. Okay, so that, that's all. So let's add up. So 15 plus 300 plus 120 is supposed to give us 1. 5 plus 3 is plus 1. Nine. 1920. So 1920 plus 2000 will give us 3920. Okay? So let's add all these ones we're less and also this will give us 1650. So we're lessing this. So this minus this is 12 minus 5 will give us 7. We have 8 here. 8 minus 6 is 2, y3 minus 1 is 2. So we have 2,270. And this 2,270 is what is known as balance as per bank statement. Balance as per what? Bank statement. Okay? So whenever you get to this point, check what you have here should be the same with what was given in the question. So it shows that we are correct, that actually the cash book and the bank statement were supposed to have the same balance. But because of these reasons given, that is why they don't have the same balance. So your final answer should be the same with what was given in the question as a bank statement. Okay, so that's the first method, preparation of only bank reconciliation. Now let's prepare the adjusted cash book. Let's the prepare the second one. So. The second one is adjusted cash book. So say I, I. Now prepare adjusted cash book. Okay. So the adjusted cash book is just like writing the cash book up to date. So the same way, already have the debit balance of the cash book. So bring it here as balance brought forward. 2000. Okay, so we we'll start also. It said check drawn amounting to 15 had not been presented for payment. Now, the rule of this part is that unpresented check and uncredited check do not come here. Okay, they are addressed under. So, we also have a standing order of 600. The club was not taken into consideration. So, a standing order is to be reduced, to be less. So it's on the credit side. Since it has not been recorded yet, it only affected the bank statement. So standing order is what 600. The next one says bank charges of 15 are entered in the bank statement only. 
also bank charges uh, bank charges of 15 naira okay and that's why I said the dividend of 300 naira will spread directly into the bank and not recorded in the cash book so dividend is the money that they receive so it has not recorded in the cash book so write a dividend of what? 300 Next one, I say checks of for one thousand dollars entered into the cash book and paid to the bank, but have not been declared and thus not credited. So this is uncredited check. I said it does not come here. It comes afterwards. So we also have said the customer bought the paid one twenty directly into the bank without going to find the firm. I said that before. It's what credit transfer. So credit transfer will also be here. So what is being added to the cash book is what is debited. And what is deducted from the card book is what credited. Okay, so I have credit transfer. How much is it? That is 120. So we'll find the difference now. Looking at this, the debit is greater than the credit. So the debit side will have 2420. Okay, and this should also be. 2420. So we have a balance called balance carry down. Okay, the balance carry down has a difference between this and this. So this is 650. Now 2420 minus 650 will give us using my calculator 2420 minus 650. I have 1,770 1,770 Okay, so we will now prepare the bank reconciliation So our bank reconciliation as at 31st March 2015 Okay, remember in this one now there's only the balance as per adjusted and unpresented and uncredited check. So we'll start with balance as per adjusted cash book. Okay, so the amount this balance that was carried out here we brought down 1770. So that is the balance we write here coming from the adjusted cash book. So the next one is add. Unpresented check. The unpresented check will send it here as what? 1 5. So, so to add this to 1 5, you will have 3270. So, we'll add less uncredited check. Uncredited check here, we've not recorded this 1000 that was cleared. So, so 3270 uh, minus 1000, we give you 2270. So, this is now balance as per bank statement. Okay, so that is the second method. The adjusted what? <coughs> cash book method. So you see, here was the same answer. Whichever one you are asked to prepare, you will not be penalized. But if they specify on which method to you use that particular method, but if they are silent, you can use any one. Okay? So that is how to prepare that. Okay? So if you are just joining us, kindly like, comment, share this video, and drop uh, a comment there in any topic you want me to prepare or you want me to take. Okay, thank you very much.